All right, the followers role in the simultaneous tandem kick around. Now the good news is, for followers, this is pretty much exactly the same thing that we were doing in the followers kick around because we're still turning 360 degrees counterclockwise. So we'll st we're still doing our rock step, kick, step, kick, hitch, kick, step. Two things might seem a little bit different about this though because the leader's turning as well. First, you'll notice that he's turning as you start to come around. In many ways, this makes it easier because he's turning the whole thing that we had to worry about, make, about making sure that we're not kicking him on the five and the seven, because he's turning, he's less likely to be in our way, so it's actually easier. We can more or less kick wherever. Still looking, of course, but it's going to be easier to find a spot in which to kick. That's the part that's easier about it. There's another part that makes it a little bit harder, and that's that the leader is turning. So same thing. Leaders are not quite as used to turning, though, as followers in a lot of things, and so let you in on a little secret they're more likely to lose their balance. And so if they lose their balance, especially with all the hand switching that they have to do, because they have a lot of stuff going on, then there's a bigger chance that they're going to end up knocking us off balance. So it's helpful to make sure that you're really grounded when you're doing it. Keep your pulse, and you're much more likely to be stable, even if the leader gets a little bit wobbly. In fact, we can sometimes help them regain the balance just by being such nice anchors ourselves while we're doing it.